Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Let's take one more example. Same, we have 4 points. Let this point be A, B, C and D. And this be X1, Y1, X2, Y2 x3, y3, x4 and y. And let this be any quadrilateral a, b, c, d. a, b, c, d, b, a, four points. So here let's find first all the sides and then we can decide so a, b, b, c, c, d and a, d. Correct. So a, b will be what? Distance between a and b that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 that will be nothing but root of y2 minus y1 square plus x2 minus x1 square this is nothing but what is y2 is 1 minus 5 1 minus 5 square plus 3 minus minus 3 3 minus minus 3 square and that is nothing but minus 4 square plus 6 square correct that is nothing but 16 plus 36 16 plus 36 and that is root of 6 is 12 52 that is my first distance AB similarly let me find BC BC is nothing but distance between x2 y2 and x3 y3 it will come out to be x3 minus x2 square plus y3 minus y2 square and if you see this x3 is 0 x2 is 2 0 minus 3 square plus y3 is 3 and y2 is 1 3 minus 1 and that is nothing but minus 3 square plus 2 square that is nothing but root of 9 plus 4 that is root of 13. Similarly let me find uh, CD. CD is nothing but distance between x3 y3 and x4 y4 so this will become root of x4 minus x3 square plus y4 minus y3 square and this comes out to be x4 minus x3 is minus 1 minus 0 square plus y4 is minus 4 minus 3 square. This is nothing but 1 square plus minus 7 sorry minus 1 square plus minus 7 square and there is nothing but 1 plus 49. So this is nothing but root of t. This is one single plus. Similarly, let me find A, this, this is done, this is done, this is done, AD, let me find AD, AD is nothing but distance between x1, y1 and x4, y4, so this is nothing but root of x4 minus x1 square plus y4 minus y1 square, this comes out to be x4 is minus 4, minus 1, x1 is minus 3 minus 1 minus minus 3 the whole thing square plus y4 minus phi 1 that is minus 4 minus phi minus 4 minus phi square this is nothing but minus 1 plus 3 that is 2 that is 2 square plus minus 9 square that is root of 4 plus 81 that is root of 85. So if you see all the sides are different root 52, root 13, root 50, root 85. Since all sides are equal we can't comment. We can't comment on the type of quadrilateral. So you can say that it is a general quadrilateral. It is not square, it is not rhombus, it is not rectangle, just a general quadrilateral because all the sides are Different. Let's take one example. 
the sides are 4 5 7 6 4 3 and 1 2 and we have to comment on the type of quadrilateral here correct so let's do this let me assume this is side a b c and d this is x1 y1 is this side x2 y2 is this side x3 y3 is this side and x4 y4 is this side correct so we have all the sides now all the points now now let's find the distance between a b b c b d and c d first thing if they if they are equal or if the opposite sides are equal then only you will find a diagonal distance so let's find a b b c b d and c d sorry a b b c c d a b b c c d and a d why because if you take this quadrilateral a b c d so you have to find a b b c c d and a d so let's find a b a b is nothing but x1 y1 and x2 y2 that is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square correct so this comes out to be 7 minus 4 7 minus 4 square plus 6 minus 5 square 6 minus 5 square so this value is nothing but root of 3 square plus 1 square that is root of 9 plus 1 that is root of 10 that is my first side then let me find this is done bc bc is nothing but this is b this is c x2 and x3 so we'll say root of x3 minus x2 square plus y2 minus y3 square here i can say x3 minus x2 square also same thing because if you square it you get same value x3 minus x2 so this is 3 this is 2 x3 x2 this 4 minus 7 square plus y3 y2 this 3 and 6 3 minus 6 square this value is 4 minus 3 7 is minus 3 square and 3 minus 6 is again minus 3 square so this is nothing but 9 plus 9 and that is nothing but root of 18 now let's find bc is done let's find cd for cd we have to take distance between this and this point that is x3 y3 and x4 y4 so this becomes root of x3 minus x4 square plus y3 minus y4 i can take x4 minus x3 square also same thing what is x3 x3 is 4 x4 is 1 4 minus 1 square plus 3 y3 is 3 and y4 is 2 so 3 minus 2 square so this becomes 3 square plus 1 square that is root of 9 plus 1 that is root of 10 now let's find ad ad is nothing but root of a and d x1 and x4 so we'll say x1 minus x4 square plus y1 minus y4 square this is nothing but what is x1 4 and x4 1 so 4 minus 1 square plus y1 is 5 and y4 is 2 5 minus 2 square so this becomes root of 3 square plus 3 square that is root of 9 plus 9 that is root of so if you observe this the opposite sides are equal you see i'll draw this ab is equal to root 10 this is vc is equal to root 18 this is root 10 and this is root 18 see don't 
see if ab is equal to bc and uh, da is equal to cd then they are not rectangle or parallelogram only if the opposite sides are equal then only we can conclude things so here the opposite sides are equal that is ab is equal to cd and bc is equal to da since opposite sides are equal we have two possibility correct one possibility is it can be parallelogram or rectangle in case the diagonals are equal we'll say it is rectangle in case the diagonals are not equal we'll say it is a parallelogram this thing we discussed in the last slide last few slides if not you just revisit the slide once again so let me find diagonals now the diagonals is nothing but ac and bd so we'll write ac and bd because you have to find ac and bd so let's find ac ac is nothing but this is c and this is a distance between this and this that is x1 y1 and x3 y3 so this becomes x1 minus x3 square plus y1 minus y3 square this is nothing but x1 is 4 x3 is 4 4 minus 4 square plus 5 minus 3 square that is becomes root of 0 square plus 2 square that is root of 4 and that is nothing but 2. Now let's find BD. BD is nothing but distance between this and this point that is x2 and x4 that is root of x2 minus x4 square plus y2 minus y4 square. So if you see this value this comes out to be x2 minus x4 is 7 minus 1 square y2 minus y4 is 6 minus 2 square plus 6 minus 2 square that is nothing but 6 square plus 4 square and that is nothing but 36 plus 16 that is nothing but root of 50 so if you see the diagonals are not equal so what you observe opposite sides equal and diagonals not equal not equal so in this case this is nothing but a parallelogram this is nothing but a parallelogram so I'll write p a r a double l e L O G R A. So it is a parallelogram. Why? Opposite sides are equal and diagonals are not. It's Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.